Hi everyone. In this video, we're going to be specifically looking at partial year depreciation. So let's just jump right in and look at an example. So suppose UPS purchases a warehouse building on April 1st for $500,000. The building's estimated life is 20 years and its estimated useful or I'm sorry, residual value is $80,000. UPS's accounting year ends on December 31st. We need to compute UPS's depreciation for April through December of the current or first year. So to do that, we would take the cost, and we're going to use straight line depreciation, so the cost minus its residual or salvage value of $80,000 divided by its useful life. Or that's the equivalent of taking cost minus residual to get the depreciable cost times the straight line rate, which is one over the useful life. So one over 20 years. That gives us a full year's depreciation of $21,000. But we don't want to depreciate it for an entire year because we bought it on April the 1st. So if we figure up how many months we used it this year, we would simply count. Since we bought it on April the 1st, we have to count all of April. So April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December is nine months of use. So we would simply take the $21,000, which is a full 12 months depreciation, and multiply that times nine twelfths of depreciation. So that gives us a partial year's depreciation, the first year, of $15,750. So this is the depreciation for year one. Over the next 18 years, we would be able to depreciate a full year's depreciation, which is $21,000. What would the depreciation be the last year of the asset's useful life? Well, since we bought it on April 1st of the first year of its life, the last year of its life, it would simply be useful for January, February, and March. And by useful, I mean depreciated. Okay, so assets oftentimes are usable after we fully depreciated them. Um, so we would only have three years of, or three months of depreciation in that last year. So we would take the full year's depreciation of $21,000 and multiply that times three out of 12, because $21,000, again, is for a full 12 months of depreciation. So in that last year, we would have $5,250 in depreciation expense. Now you'll notice that because we have partial years here, the first year, which was a partial, for $15,750, and the last year, which was a parcel, partial of $5,250, those two depreciation expenses add up to the full $21,000 for one full year of depreciation. 